Stephen King has released a new book. This book is called Fairy Tale, and it has come out this week. And I have been listening to the audiobook, which does not count against me for Booklog Golf because I paid for it months ago. Months ago. The story Fairy Tale follows Charlie, a young man who, due to some things in his early life, tries to be a good person. He tries to go the extra mile. He feels like he owes something. And one of those things that he does is he helps out an elderly man who had fallen from a ladder trying to clean out his his gutters. Now, when people talk to Charlie about this, he goes, oh, it wasn't me. It was really Radar, the dog. Because without her barking and letting me know, I wouldn't have known to go help him and call 911. He continually goes, mm, that wasn't me. We see this in a similar light when we see the story of Gideon. Today on Geek Devotions, we're going to talk about Gideon and that feeling of, I don't feel good enough. Hello and welcome to Geek Devotions, the show from Devoted Geeks who are devoted to letting people know that they are loved. I am Celeste and we are so glad that you have hit play today. Do me a favor, hit that share button, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you really like what you see. Also check out our website. Uh, as previously mentioned, we are in the middle of book log golf over on Discord, so it's not too late to, to join in. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. So like I said in the intro, in the story of Gideon, which you find in Judges 36 through 40. It's not necessarily a perfect one for one to the story of Charlie in this Stephen King book, but there is that same feeling of, I'm not, I didn't do anything special. I'm not a good person. I'm just me. And that's a feeling I relate to a lot. I feel like a lot of times that when people are like, oh, you've done all these amazing things. I'm like, no, I really didn't. I just did this. I just did that. And it's not a, it's not intended to be a false humility. It is just a legitimate, I get the feeling often of that really wasn't that big of a deal. I'm not that big of a deal. And as a result, I oftentimes do the same thing. Charlie frequently in the book goes, I didn't save that man. His dog did. I just called 911. Gideon spent quite a bit of time trying to convince God that he was not who God needed for this opportunity. It was not the person he needed God or need God needed that God needed to lead his armies. Gideon dealt with this and I love that this is story is in the scriptures because it it resonates with me. It makes me go, I'm not the only one to feel like this. And just because I feel like I can't do something that glorifies God doesn't mean that God can't use me. Doesn't mean God can't use you. I feel like in today's culture that that is a very prevalent feeling, that feeling of, really just not that big of a deal. I'm not good enough. I'm not strong enough. There are better people out there that could be doing this. And it's something that I see often when I'm online or when I'm talking to others. But what we really need to know and what we learned from Gideon's story is that it doesn't matter if you're good enough. You may be absolutely correct in that you are not the best person for the job, that you are not the person who God should be choosing to do this, but it doesn't matter because you are. You are the person that God has called according to his purposes. You are the person who God has told to do something. Now, whether that's just simply a the great commission of go and make disciples of all nations if it's a sharing jesus's love in your everyday life if it's living a righteous life that glorifies him or if it's starting a blog 
if it's starting a YouTube channel, if it's I'm going to stream and share God's love. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter how much you think you can or should. If that's what you feel like God's telling you to do, then he knows better than you. Gideon's story is a fantastic reminder that God sees us as more than we see ourselves. He overlooks the flaws. He overlooks the weaknesses. He even plans for the weaknesses. He knows you so much better than you think he does. And he's planned around that. So don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. Don't let even yourself tell you that you can't do something. Because if you truly, honestly think that God has told you to do something, again, even something as simple as share his love, which we are all commanded to do as Christians, he's going to do it through you. It doesn't matter if you are too human or too fallible or too shy or too awkward or too whatever it is. You can do it. Through him, you can do it. Okay, guys, that was your devotion for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. I have been enjoying this audiobook. I'm loving it. Um, I might write a review for it later, so we'll see. Again, doesn't count against my book log golf because I pre-ordered it and used an Audible credit for it uh, months ago. So it counts, it counts. Also be looking on the website for a Splatoon 3 first reaction and review that will be coming soon. We're super excited about that. I am counting down the hours as of the filming of this. By the time it airs, we'll have been streaming a good portion of the day. So you'll know already what my thoughts on Splatoon 3 are, even if I don't. It is now time for the question of the week. The question of the week is this. Do you enjoy Stephen King books? I like his writing style, but I don't like all of his books. I, I don't like things that are scary, that scare me. So I tend to stick to his less intense stuff, like the Dark Tower series, like the girl who loved Tom Gordon. That is one of my absolute favorites of his because it sets that spooky atmosphere without being terrifying. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the devotion. Y'all stay devoted, peace and love.